Study released late last week by the U.S. National Transportation Board found that states that have legalized cannabis are seeing increases in car crashes compared to states where cannabis is not legal. Cannabis, cannabis, legalization. It's <laughs> about a private member's bill to legalize marijuana in India. Just look at my eyes and see, they're always stoned. I'm always stoned. Why just stop with cannabis? Why don't we do some cocaine? Because it really fires us up. I never touched the substance, but just look at my eyes and see, they're always stoned. <laughs> is it true that this human mechanism is the most sophisticated chemical factory on the planet? So if you know how to manage this well, you can produce what you want in this. Anyway, there was an Israeli scientist, he was doing research on cannabis and its impact on the neurological system. In about four and a half years, he came up with this. He said, there are millions of cannabis receptors in our brain, but why? So he threw this information to all kinds of scientific disciplines to find out why in human brain there are millions of cannabis receptors. Many funny things happened around the world in this context. Then the neurologist came up with this and said, the brain is expecting that you will produce cannabis within the system. It's not expecting you to smoke, it's expecting you produce that so that it becomes a mood equalizer for you all the time. But most human beings have become inefficient chemical factories or they're just lousy CEOs managing a great factory, so they start smoking from outside. <laughs> it's not a moral issue for me. But the thing is, there is substantial studies which are uh, being put down by those few activists who want to promote it. There is substantial studies to show that your decision-making, certain dimensions of your brain, particularly about decision-making, are sufficiently suppressed. If you smoke marijuana for thirty days, this will last for four to five years, your decision-making is clearly affected. With that kind of mind, with that kind of a brain, if you enter the court and I'm putting my life in your hands, I don't want a cannabis smoking lawyer for me. I don't want a cannabis smoking surgeon to work upon me. If he's just smoking on the street corner, not doing anything to anybody, it's his problem. But definitely I don't want my surgeon to be on marijuana and do surgery on me. Yes or no? Do you want? Nor do I want other drivers, because I drive at a certain speed, I don't want other drivers who are smoked out driving with me. I don't want. Nor do I want my driver ever, if at all if I sit in the back seat, to have smoked and then driving. If you want that, you choose, but we don't want that. Most people don't want that because they know what it'll lead to. So what we are looking at recreation, we have made it this way, what this means is essentially, today, seventy percent of the American population is on prescription medication, rest of the world is trying to catch up. People are starting medicines very early on their life. The remaining thirty percent of course are going on things that you're talking about. Why just stop with cannabis? Why don't we do some cocaine? Because it really fires us up. I told you it's not a moral issue for me, it's a question of whether it'll enhance your life or suppress your life. Whether it'll allow you to live your life full on or will it make you a smaller life than the way you are or what you are capable of. Nothing less than what you can do must happen in this life, isn't it, for whatever reason. Either because of your attitudes or your stress or your drug or for whatever reason, you should not become a human being less than what you could be. You must maximize this life because all you have in this life is how intense and profound is your experience of life, that's all there is. And half the time if you're dazed out, you will miss that possibility. But if you come to me, I can teach you a way. Simply you can sit here and be stoned down. No. Really. Not just me, I, I do this to any number of people, thousands of people, they just sit there and boom. Every day in the morning I can show you millions of people who close their eyes, tears of ecstasy dripping because there is a way 
there is a way to activate this system because there's no more complex chemistry on the planet than this one. When everything is here, it's best to learn to use this. If we invest some time early on in your life, very effortlessly you can get here.